thanks guys for being here tonight. Let's take a few moments to actually talk about life groups. You know, at Lifelink Church, we actually prioritize life groups as part of our experience together. And so I have a question. If life groups is so important, why is it critical to who we are as people? Lifelink exists to link people and God together for life. And so there isn't really a better way to do that than actually getting into smaller groups and mm -hmm. doing life together. In everyone's heart, there's this space that's meant for relationship. It's God-given. You really have to experience it to know. Yeah, and it also helps create a sense of community um, that you really can't get in just passing in the hallway at church. And church is so big, you might actually leave there and still feel really alone. Right. But in the life group, you get into the life group and you form connection. Mm -hmm. So one of the specific life groups that we have here at Lifeline is our freedom groups. Let's talk about what our experience is like in our freedom groups. Well, I know in my experience, um, I chose to attend a, a freedom group just because I knew that there were areas in my life I was still living in bondage. Mm -hmm. What I love the most about our freedom groups is that it's in a small group. Mm -hmm. So you're doing life with the people in that group and they can help keep you accountable. Yeah. So, yeah, I had a similar experience to that too. And that's why really I chose to become a, a freedom group leader just mm -hmm. because I wanted to see people experiencing freedom like the way that God intended it yeah. to be. Jeremy, I love that you have a yes in your heart to step into leadership, and that's such a cool thing that you're doing. You know, we've all sat here and we've talked about the benefits of being plugged in and being part of a life group. Mm -hmm. Why is it difficult for people to step in and actually be plugged into those things? I know for me, as a parent, um, it can almost feel selfish to take time away from my family, for myself, which I know is healthy. I need to be taking care of myself and doing life with people, yeah. but it can be hard. Yeah, and talking about time, a lot of us are really busy with work, with all the other stuff we're doing, kids, right. events, mm -hmm. cooking dinner. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so it becomes really busy. Not only that, but I think that personalities can come into play too. I know that for myself, I'm naturally introverted. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so going around a group of people can be a little tough for myself. You guys, you're all right, but you know, honestly, I think it boils down to priority. We always have things we prioritize in our lives. You know, there's so much we want in our lives, but yeah. we have our priorities kind of what? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm at my best when I prioritize the kingdom of God, yeah. meeting Spirit. with people this way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's, it really makes it go easier when yeah. you do that. All right. So we're talking about what does it actually look like when it comes to leading a life group? I think that leading a life group um, is all about fostering real relationships with people. Mm -hmm. and we always say that the best friend that you never met is in a life group. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, good. That's really good. And you know what? I think as the leader of a life group, um, mm -hmm. it's not expected that you take on the whole responsibility. You're really just there to create an environment mm -hmm. for people to come, listen, have real discussions about what's going on, right. and form a really good connection. Okay. Yeah, the other part of it being is when you lead a life group, you get an opportunity to actually get involved in people's lives. Mm -hmm. That's true. They look up to you as a leader. I'm telling you guys, when people show up in church, they need prayer, they need a hand to hold on to. Yeah. Right. And frankly, we don't have to leave it all for our pastors. Well, and, and what but, you're saying about caring for people and partnering with people at church and not leaving on our pastors, I think it really captures the heart of the Great Commission, mm -hmm. uh, where we're supposed to um, go out and find people mm -hmm. and really link them up to a relationship yeah. with Jesus. Yeah. You know, I love it. And just like you were saying, Lacey, we actually get to walk out the Great mission mm -hmm. and it's our ministry in the church and that's through our next steps mm -hmm. and it's our mission in the world and we yeah. actually get to do that through outreaches and partnering with our community around us yeah we get to do all these things in the vein of our life groups yeah. mm -hmm. so thank you guys i appreciate you guys taking the time and it's true we are better together